This standard quality stock stays Monday, December 20th, 2010. Today we're going to take a look at Plug Power. It's a NASDAQ global market stock trading our ticker PLUG. Caught my eye for a classic or triple bottom sort of pattern to it at this point. Like to see this high go up and reach this high, but that's pretty close. That's within 10%, meeting the characteristics of a classic double, triple bottom. Overall, still seeing an uptrend in the MACD. Histogram trending back towards zero, about ready to get across through the zero line. See an up day on Friday. Closed at 39, almost 240,000 shares traded. Almost identical look in the PPO. Coming off a little bit of an offset pinch right there. You can see just a huge move when that formation happened. Classic kind of reversal setup again with the ADX coming down. Negative DI up above the positive DI. Now we're looking for some bullish crosses. MFI is pulling out of oversold territory right now. All moving northward, getting a little bit of separation. So we're going to keep an eye on how large that gap gets. But we want to see this 14 and 21 continue their uptrend. This breaking through 20 and coming out of oversold is the first sign of this chart trying to turn bullish. Still seeing a downtrend in the accumulation distribution. We're going to look for that line to get broken. Even in this recent past, somewhere through there, we're going to want to see this couple days of just trying to uptrend right through there. Continue north, break through the upper side of that channel, and try and put an end to that downtrend. Shake Money Flow, which is of course based on the accumulation distribution, but weighted a little bit differently. Trending back towards zero, we're going to want to see that continue. Not have it break back down and make a new lower low through here. CCI also trending up, holding over negative 100 at this point. That's a bullish sign. And the full still trending upward and breaking through 20. Again, we talk about that as the first sign of this chart trying to gain any momentum. Tricks, overall, we're going to look for an uptrend to be continued. Of course, it's a little bit of a lagging indicator, but it looks like it's starting to try and flatline through here, where I look for that bullish cross and an overall channel to be established trending up towards zero. We'll look for that break of zero if this chart's trying to turn truly bullish. RSI kind of had a key point. All of them right near 50 right now. You can see even the 21 at 44 and a half. As we always talk about trending over 50, bullish chart. See the strength of that move right through there on the chart when the RSI was trending over 50. So we're going to look for that again to be established. But it starts with getting that 14 and 21 up over the 50 marker. Important thing through here, holding this bottom support, 36 cents. See it closed at 39. It gives you a 10% stop loss to hold the bottom. So that's mandatory for this chart to be even considered in play. It has some short-term resistance right where it closed. You can see that's been a bit of an issue. It was a support level right through that area here back in September and October, 39 cents. So that is going to have to be broken. It's going to become a little bit more significant right in through here as well, right around 41 cents. There's the 20-day moving average, something we talked about, the first real moving average resistance. So you want to see that be broken and start to trade on the upper side of the Bollinger Bands. It'll also break through this price per share resistance, which you can see a lot of upper shadows had a tough time getting through it until some volume increased, and then it made a move, came back down, held as support, and continued the move. So it's at a, crit a pretty critical point right now to hold the bottom support, make a move towards that resistance. You can see we've got this 50-day starting to trend up. So in the longer term, if this can start to put together a channel heading north, we'll see what's referred to as the golden cross, that 50 through the 200-day. If this price per share can get trading over top of that, the chart takes on a very bullish look. And we'd look for these upper levels to be tested at once again, which from this point at 39 cents all the way up to 57, that's a very large percentage gain. But those are the things that we'll be looking for. But it starts with breaking this resistance, breaking through that resistance, getting trending on the upper side of the, of the Bollinger Bands, and establishing an upward channel. If it goes up, bounces off this 50-day, you want to see it come back down, hold 41 again, and continue to make higher lows and try and make a move northbound. I'd look for resistance to become pretty significant when it gets into this area right around 50 cents. You can see that was a tough spot for it, tough spot for it. 200-day moving average is going to come into effect there. Again, a little bit longer term, nice gains to make it up to that level. Volume will have to increase at that point. Of course, this is heading into the holiday week, so volume might be a little bit stagnant. But if it can maintain somewhere around this 240,000 shares, even during this typically slower week, and hold these support levels, this chart has a chance over the next few weeks to start trying to channel upward and prove this is another bottom. So these are the things I'll be looking for in the PLUG chart. As always, this is merely my interpretation. This is Andy with Quality Stocks. Thank you for watching and trade smooth.